Hi, my name is Jordan Kingery. I am the founder and director of the post-abortive healing program here at Blue Ridge Pregnancy Center called Unhindered. Hi, I'm Joanna Rader. I'm a friend of Blue Ridge Pregnancy Center, a former participant in the Forgiven and Set Free Bible Study, and a longtime friend of Jordan's. When I was 24, I found out I was pregnant and was terrified. Um, I was ashamed because I wasn't married, and when I found out I was pregnant, I was shocked at my own response being abortion as my first option. As someone who was a self-proclaiming Christian, someone who was attending church at the time, I was absolutely terrified not only of my situation but terrified of myself that that's where my mind was going. I did actually come to the Blue Ridge Pregnancy Center for my pregnancy test and ultrasound, um, but ultimately walked away with the resolve to still abort my baby. I know it was maybe a little over a year after my abortion when the former executive director of BRPC came to my church and shared her story. And that's why I felt the Holy Spirit call me to seek him in all of this. And so that's when I participated in the Forgiven and Set Free Bible study um, through one of the facilitators here at the center and found deeper healing in Jesus. It's one thing to be told that you're forgiven, it's another thing to go through the process mm. of, of dealing with a past event that has wedged itself between you and God. Um, and so we spent months in the process of healing and it's just been a God thing. Um, and I'm just so happy to be here and be able to be just sharing this with you now. I was 19 at the time of my abortion. It was a long time ago. I was so scared and I was afraid of my dad, <laughs> quite honestly, and what people would think and that I would be disappointing them. So it was just something that had to be taken care of right away and it would happen so fast. And uh, that was it. It was done. And uh, for many years when things would come back up, like feelings or thoughts, I was often always, as a matter of fact, instructed to just leave it alone, leave it at the cross. You've been forgiven, you've left it at the cross, move on. And I um, don't think that was very good advice at all. Um, it needs to be dealt with. But years went by, probably 25, 30 years, where I really haven't, didn't talk about it much until it came up a lot. And it was obvious to me that the Holy Spirit wanted me to deal with it. And so I reached out to um, Blue Ridge Pregnancy Center through a friend and went through the Forgiven and Set Free uh, Bible study and it was amazing, so healing. Um, not only with the abortion, but just how it affected the rest of my life. I was able to tell my boys about it, which was hard to do, you know, over the years. Um, once you've had an abortion and then you have your children you feel really guilty, <laughs> like I don't deserve a healthy baby because of what I did. <laughs> but God is so good and so loving. And uh, just made it so clear that there is forgiveness and that there is healing and I just wish the churches would make that more obvious to our young women. I think sometimes the churches don't make it clear that there's a place they can go to. Mm -hmm. you know, there's people here that will love them through it. I think I just want young ladies to know that they have options and that they don't be afraid like I was. Um, take that step, be strong and courageous mm -hmm. and take that step of healing. The fact of the matter is there are both women and men in local congregations everywhere that have an abortion in their past and they're carrying shame and secrecy for years. So if you're a local church leader and you're wondering how to get something like unhindered in the veins of your church, we have good news. We have multiple studies and multiple curriculum that we can bring to your church. We can provide the material, we can provide the training. We not only want to help the women who walk through our doors, but it's the women and men sitting in your congregations. Um, so if this is something that you'd be interested in bringing into your church, please um, reach out to me. 
um, we would love to get in contact with you and go over how we can get this started in your church as soon as possible. Um, Because this type of healing, it, it shouldn't have to wait.